In this slideshow, we're going to show you how to tie a full Windsor knot. The Windsor is typically the knot of choice because it exudes professionalism and reliability. However, because it's a little more complex than other knots, you could end up looking like this. So to start, you're going to adjust the tie around your neck so that the right hand part, which we'll call the tongue, is situated between your chest and abs, like you see on our model Dave here. The first move is to pull the opposite end of the tie over the tongue to make a sort of cross, like so. Next, we're going to pull the long end behind the tongue so that it completely circles the upper part of the tongue. This is the part where you would stop and pull the tie through the knot to make a half Windsor knot, but we're going to take a couple more steps. Now, bring the longer end of the tie back over the knot that is forming at the top of the tongue. Finally, bring the long end behind and through the collar of your tie on the right hand side. Then, pull it through the front opening in the knot. The end result should look something like this. You can then adjust it so that the knot covers the top button of your shirt. One last thing to consider is the length of the tie. If you start it with the tongue between your chest and abs, then the tie should fall between your belly button and the bottom of your belt buckle. This is the general rule of thumb for length. Personally, I like to keep my tie above my belt if I'm wearing a suit. That way it doesn't bottom out beneath the bottom of the coat. If I'm not wearing a coat, I tend to like it to fall a little bit below my belt, but not too far because then it hangs when you're seated. That's it for today. Uh, make sure you stay tuned in the future for more tips and tricks.